just disbelief that uh, uh, we were just totally overlooked. We had a fair, uh, not one-sided, but uh, a fair and a good proposal in. And to not uh, uh, look at the opposite that that was picked and give a reason why they picked the other one, just look for some simple, silly reasons not to pick what we had submitted. So does this help us understand the two offers, I guess, that were on the table? So the formula offer that was selected, the ASP's offer, what does that translate to in terms of dollars and cents, I guess, as an opening price at the wharf? Well, for an opening price at the wharf, they, they did not use uh, any real market, uh, real market uh, ideas as to how they formulated the, the, the opening price or the minimum price that they set. Uh, they just basically picked the price at it here and said, okay, that's enough. And right now where it stands uh, between the two prices translates to about $30 million that the fishermen will lose this year in Newfoundland. Part of getting ready to go, to go fishing is more than uh, just putting gear on and doing maintenance on your boat. It's making sure that everything, all the factors are in line for you to go fishing. Right now the factors are not in line for me to go fishing. I am not going fishing until we get this straightened out. Our concern, yes, definitely, the, the province's reputation on the market uh, means a lot. But at the end of the day, if we don't uh, do something now, and I mean, again, with the free enterprise and, 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 and uh, corporate control, I mean, look, we have to address that now as fish harvesters, or we will not have to worry about how Newfoundland looks on the market anymore, because we'll be all gone. So we have to deal with all these issues this year.